What's good, LS Nation? Welcome back to another lit video. It's your girl, Lauren. It's your girl, Steph. Oh, we're, oh. It's and it's your, it's your girl journey and we're back with another video today you guys if y'all haven't already make sure that you guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new to the family welcome to the family hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed i don't know what you're doing but you need to hit the subscribe button because who don't want to be subscribed to learn a step i do not know we are about to hit 500 000 subscribers you feel me so thank you so much for everybody who's been supporting everybody who's been mm -hmm. subscribed to the channel we appreciate it half a million yeah, you guys. Oh, and hit the bell so you know when you want to you want to hit the bell so you know when we post so that you can be here for the videos. And if you're not here for the videos, I don't know what you're doing, but yeah. <laughs> and Jeremy, she's looking at you like, oh, okay. Yeah, she's like, shut up. <laughs> All right, go ahead, babe. All right, y'all. So today, basically, we're just gonna be talking about. What did you say? We talking about? I don't know nothing. Y'all. Oh, I'm tired. Before we even get into the video, let's just talk about what just happened. So, literally, before we turned on this camera, before we about to start. Yes. Steph just got pooped on for the first time. How you feel? Steph just got her first blowout. Yo, she really just, uh, I'm wearing a different hoodie now. Yeah, she, she really just, first of all, as soon as we start the video, she wakes up. She wakes up. So it's like, damn, now we gotta feed her, change her, all that, whatever. Yeah. Then, in the middle of feeding her, she literally blows it up on me. Blows like, it up. Literally, the poop comes out of her diaper. She had a pink hoodie on before this. <laughs> and literally, she just had shit all on her. And all on your hands and everything. Yeah, it was uh, a mess. Like, you would have thought she didn't have a diaper on. <laughs> she literally did like a big... Yo! And like, I'm sorry, it just like loud. slipped out the side of her diaper. I'm sorry, you're too loud. Maybe her diaper wasn't on tight enough. I'm I don't know. But <clears throat> that's the first time she's done it. She's always tooting and booting when she's feeding. Yeah. But she's never like blew Blow it. it up. Yeah, yeah, blew it out. So... Yeah. It wasn't like a lot though. It was just like I think it was the way you was like holding her butt. Like I think it was twisting the diaper a little um, bit. So when she pooped, it like slipped out the side. That came out fast too. That shit said okay, <laughs> and it wasn't on me. But anyways, enough you know, with the poop talk. <laughs> now she's sitting here like she didn't do nothing. Yeah, now she's being innocent. But um, so today, guys, we're just gonna be giving y'all a quick update because I know y'all wasn't able to see the actual birth because for some reason they didn't let us record it. I don't know thing. why. Like, bro, I think like, probably because like if something goes around, like he didn't want that on. Okay, camera. well, on camera. Why, but like, that's, yeah, I think he was being an a hole, low key. But yeah, like, that was whack. Like our nurse didn't care, as y'all can see. Like y'all seen the footage from that. But yeah. Like, um, yeah, we wasn't able to record. So I mean, I've seen other videos where like people wasn't able to record too. So it's like whatever. But I just don't get it. Like your child's coming like, into the my world. Child, like yeah. I feel like I should be able to. You should be able to experience that and record that. And before you go, I think you signed something that says you can record. You just can't record like their down faces. there. Or the, like the doctors like put their faces and stuff right now. Yeah, or, or you can't like, care. like I can't sit there and put the camera on your coochie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why? You know, I don't think you can do all that, but. I don't know. But I don't know. We wasn't able to record the actual her coming out. That's why y'all seen a black screen and just yeah. hearing her cry. But. I'm just giving y'all an update on how life has been since she's been yeah. here. She's now like a week and a day old. Mm -hmm. And I ain't gonna lie y'all, exhausting. I'm like super tired. I don't know how single moms do this. Like I, cause yeah. this is hard. Like yeah, that's the first it's thing two of us and it's still like so exhausting. Cause I don't think it's hard. I it's think not hard. It's, it's more so. It's the nighttime part for yeah, me. Yeah. Like it is hard adjusting your body at nighttime to like wake up. You do it with no problem, but it's hard. Like yeah, you know, I wake up in the middle of the night and feed her, and I have to feel my eyes shine a little bit. Yeah. But I know like, all right, hold on, I gotta wake up because like, you know, anything can happen. You gotta have your w eyes wide open. So like, just the nighttime part is um is like it's exhausting. Is the exhausting part for me during the day? I'm fine. Like if I see daylight, I'm not tired. For me, it's like because I just can't sleep at all. Like I sleep like a few hours. Like I'm, I've always been like a can't sleep at night type of person. But like now that she's here, it's really just even worse. And then like since she was in the NICU, if y'all watch the second part of the video for her breathing and like stuff, I've just been scared ever since. So like any little sound that she makes, I know like babies make a lot of different sounds when they sleep. But like any little sound, I I'm like. Looking yeah. at her, make sure she's still like, literally breathing and stuff. And it's always, just anxiety. Like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's really bad anxiety. And I think a lot of it does come from what you said, like yeah. her being a NICU and with her breathing. So, like, we're constantly just worried about her breathing, which I know that, like, she's probably more than likely completely fine. And, like, you know, her breathing is, it was just a fluid in her lungs. But, like, still, I don't know. Just, like, going through that, it is hard yeah. to just, like, 
not have anxiety about it. And she, and she actually had her first appointment yesterday. The doctor was like, they make a lot of different noises. noises even yeah. like my snore a little bit. My just sound like they're like not breathing, and then they go back to breathing. Or like it's just different. A lot of different stuff. So I still get anxious either way. Yeah. <laughs> So that part has been a little exhausting. Exhausting. Um, sorry, we got a little bit out of out of topic, but I was going to tell you to like give them a little bit more detail on like the birth process. Oh, the birth, they didn't yeah. get to see it. Yeah. Um, just kind of like what happened yeah. during the time where like you started pushing to the after that they didn't see. So y'all, by the time when y'all seen the practice pushes, like it was it was pretty much like I could feel a little bit of contractions, but like it wasn't super bad. And then, <laughs> and then, I'm show you her toes. towards the end where her head was starting to come out, my doctor came in and he started just <sighs> assisting down there to try to get her out. Yeah. I had let the epidural wear off, which you don't have to let it let it wear off. If you're like in like excruciating pain and you can't take it, basically yeah. you keep pressing this button to like pump more um, medicine into your yeah, you know, so, system so like you're completely numb. Yeah, wait, can I stop you? So what I got from that is the nurse was saying like, I guess back in the old days, like it would just wear off. Oh, but yeah, like nowadays we're in a day where like they can keep pumping, me keep pumping the medicine mm -hmm. into you basically. If you start feeling stuff, you can pump a certain amount of medicine into you or yeah. whatever, or something like that. But yeah, continue. Yeah, so basically the nurse was like, oh, if you like, don't get like, happy clicking the button the whole time it's like if you don't feel your contractions it's gonna be harder to get her out because it's like yeah. you can't feel anything so it's like if you can't feel anything you just sit there having contractions you don't know what to push and basically when you have the contraction it's time for you to push because it's yeah. helping that like, get the baby down so I, at one point i was just like let me just not click this button no more and i really started feeling everything and at, at the same time i didn't like how i was feeling with the epidural like it felt good at first and then after a while i started getting just like very claustrophobic i wanted to move and i couldn't move obviously you can't get up because you're numb from the waist down so i was just like i don't even want it at this point and then when her head started coming out that was crazy i'm sorry for me that was crazy like whew, bruh Y'all, by the time, like I said, the epidural had wore off, so when her head was coming out, that was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Y'all, that was that was really crazy. Like, that's a crazy experience. Like, watching a baby's head come out is, like, the most craziest, weirdest, amazing thing you will ever see. Like, it's really crazy. I literally seen her, like, before her head even started coming out, um... I literally seen her hair hanging out. Yeah, she has so much hair. Yo, she like so much hair. Her hair was coming out steps, you know. <laughs> and so that's how I knew. I'm like, oh, this little girl got some hair. Yeah, that's the first thing you could see. It's like her little hair hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and then like the more and more she pushed, the more her head was coming out, and the more I kept seeing her head, and I'm just like, I ain't gonna lie, it took a little, it took a little while. Like I, I don't know how long you was pushing to like. After we, I feel like it was that long, maybe 10 minutes. By the time her head started emerging now? Yeah, cause like you have to wait for it to crown first before like the delivery team and stuff mm -hmm. comes in. But I feel like once they came in, it was quick. Like it was probably five minutes and she was out. Yeah, yo, so like I said, by that time I could feel everything. And like when the doctor came in, he just had, you know, basically he's just going in there and just putting his hand in there trying to like, it's probably TMI. Sorry yeah, for that. make space basically in there to try to like get her out. And at some point, I think she, he said she was kind of stuck underneath. Like one, she wasn't like she bone. wasn't stuck. Not but stuck. Like they she, have to once they get through that pelvic bone. Basically, he was saying like it's an easy go from there. Yeah, like, like once they that's the hardest part is getting them through. So basically, yeah, after put him in there, take my back, put him in there, just moving his hand around, trying to move her head around, like just digging and digging, and it was just like, oh, this the worst pain. And then, once her head was just like there, right? It's like the worst like feeling ever. And then it, it, you just get the biggest urge to just push. Like at some point, he was trying to do, they was doing something, I don't know what they was doing, but like, I guess they was getting ready for the, the delivery team to come in, so like, there was times where like I wasn't having a con I wasn't having a contraction, but I had the urge to like push. And I was like, okay, you can push, you can push, you can push. Oh yeah. And then when, <laughs> when like, nobody was push. standing there. <laughs> I need to push, I need to push. And they were like, okay, go ahead, go ahead, just push, yeah. whatever. Because it's like the biggest, like you can't hold it. Like literally, you cannot. Like the baby is like coming, yeah. like you cannot hold it. So once she came out, once her head was out, she, I think she just flipped yeah, right she just out. Right like out. the rest of her body just like. 
Because I didn't feel like, the rest of her body come out. Once the head was out, I didn't feel the rest of her body. Yeah, I just felt them was, like put her on me. Just slipped out. Yeah, I just felt them like put her on me, and then that was it. Yeah. So then, like, one yeah. to ten, what was your what was the pain level? <sighs> Honestly, it was just really the head part. But like one to ten. Head. What is that? That that feeling is called the ring of fire because like it feels like your hands on fire and ripping apart. That feeling I'll give it a I don't even know. I don't even remember the pain. Uh, I got a twenty out of a twenty? <laughs> yeah, that it oh, hurts. Man, you're so probably scaring bad. somebody that's about to get birth right now. I mean if if you go unmedicated, yeah, like if the epidural wears off and all that stuff, yeah, it's not a fun feeling. But once, as soon as she was out, like it was immediate, like relief. relief. Yeah. And then they started, like I got a second degree tear, so they started stitching me up and stuff. But like the aftermath, once your medicine starts wearing off and stuff like that. Ooh, the pain down there is crazy. That's another thing people don't talk about. It's the postpartum, like taking care of yourself down there postpartum. It hurts yeah. so freaking. I mean, I've heard bad. of that. I've heard people say that first pee or something. something about the yeah, first pee, pee is bad. poop, all that. It's just the worst, especially if you tell, if you tear and stuff like that. And not fun at all. I was struggling doing? for the first few days. And yeah, lady parts down there are tore. Mine was mine is kind of tore up. You know, I have I have stitches and stuff like that. And then healing takes about like six weeks and it's just a lot. It's a lot. Being a first time parent or just a parent in general, it's a lot when you first give birth and you have to come home and take care of the baby, yeah. recover. So for people that are just by themselves, I only like, I can yeah. only imagine doing it by yourself because it's a lot, yeah. really emotionally, physically, yeah. it's a lot. But yeah, that's it's it's crazy though because a lot of it is just like hormonal too. Like they even tell you in the hospital, like you know you you're gonna get emotional because it's just uh, your pre pregnancy hormones, I guess, mm -hmm. or just like your hormones in general. Just you're talking out of whack and yeah. trying to get back to how yourself. They, yeah, how yeah. They were and stuff like that. So like yeah, it's it's real out here. Postpartum or postpartum depression or just feeling sad in general. Yeah. Which I've been like feeling like emotional, more, more emotional than just like, I don't know, it's just overwhelming. More like, more emotional than just like depressed. Yeah, like not depressed, yeah. just more like just emotional, yeah. just tired. Like, tired, to being tired triggers you to be emotional too, like, yeah. you know, irritated, sad, all that stuff. You're, I don't know, to me, you don't seem like, like, you just seem tired to me. Like, you seem still like yourself though. Yeah, I just be tired and then sometimes I get a little like, Emotional, like teary or something. But like, Sorry, guys. Brief, brief intermission. Ooh. <laughs> brief intermission. You don't want it? Okay, get ready to hang up. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm Thanks. sorry. Get rid of them on your own. You don't want, want it? This. I'm just trying to help you out. I don't want this. I'm trying to help you. Okay. She don't want Here, it. Yeah, take it when you want it. Okay. But, um, but yeah, that's that. Um, I feel like for me, though, it's. It's cool. Like I said, it's just the night part. Um, other than that, you tell me you're still hungry, there. girl. She was just eating her hand. Oh no, you just you ain't gonna care. I drank all this milky. Yeah, she is a milk monster. Third, she, she would not. She just oh my god. No, she's she's, fat, she's aggressive too. Like, yes, when she she's hungry, you. she she hungry. She oh, yeah, she try to eat her hand. She try to like eat her, her head be like bobbing, like she trying to look for yeah. the, the boobs or milk or wherever she can find it. She's just like yeah. He's she's a fat girl. Like she's yeah. just want to eat 24 7 <laughs> literally like she can't even go her whole three hours without eat like she'll want it before then what else babe that's pretty much it like that's it yeah yeah i don't we know might, we don't want to make this video like too, too long. long yeah we kind of just want to give you an update and just let y'all know mm -hmm. you know how our first weeks has been going how the birth went um stuff like that so i didn't get to see um i'm trying to think um yeah stay tuned because um Damn, what we got? I don't even know. Ooh, someone's tired. Any of y'all about to be parents or whatever, just prepare to be yeah. tired. But other than that, I feel like everyone says that, like, oh, yeah, you're ready not to sleep no more, but it's kind of true. Like, yeah. Other than that, like, it's, it's cool. Like, it's amazing. It's not, I don't think it's like, I wouldn't say it, it's hard. It's just an adjustment, mm -hmm. mostly. It's just, it's just an adjustment to 
I don't know, just in general. They're constantly just ripping and running through this house, just like getting bottles or cleaning up or doing this or washing or changing. And it's diapers. like any downtime you get, like you're just tired, you yeah. just wanna like not do anything, but like sometimes you gotta do stuff around the house, house or go yeah. around errands and stuff like that. So it's like yeah. your day is like just quick, quick, quick. <laughs> and I think that's why people's like they feel like they they're like Time babies. Yeah, but their babies grow so fast. It's like every day you're constantly like just on the go. So, yeah, I have felt. And like by that. the time you realize, it's like damn, like your baby's already like. Oh my mm-hmm. god, you already one week. Like like one week went by fast. Yeah. And I was like, damn, you already a week old. Like, one week flew. Yeah. No cap. But um, yeah. Other than that, guys, that's the update. Journey's gonna meet um her grandma in a couple days. <clears throat> so you know we gotta. We got a little bit on the schedule, so you know, time mm-hmm. gonna go by even faster. But anyways, guys, that's the update. Yes. Um, we hope y'all enjoyed this little update. Sorry it wasn't much, but you know, after them two videos, we just kinda gotta gotta give y'all some. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like this video, comment, subscribe. Um, if you're new to the family, welcome to the family. Hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, we appreciate you. We appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been giving us and the nice comments on all of our videos, the previous videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And trust me, guys, you guys will meet Journey. Very, very, very soon. Very, very soon. <laughs> Even though you guys kind of already met her, but like you're going to meet her, meet her very, like, very soon. Yeah. Like, like probably with the next video. Yeah. After that. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. But other than that, guys, um, we are out. We will see y'all in the next video. We appreciate y'all. We love you. And peace out. I'm going to Bye. Go.